Hey kids. Hey kids. Hey kids. Thanks for checking out the Treehouse Takeover. Before you get watching, we wanted to tell you a little bit about what the Treehouse Takeover is. It's our online kids worship service filled with music, teaching, and all sorts of fun. Every week, we get to hear one of our family church kids pastors or ministers teach us a message from God's word. Family Church is made up of a whole bunch of different campuses. And each one of those campuses has their own kids ministry. Run by their own kid pastor or minister and has their own kids who go each week. Kids who are just like you. Just like you. Just like you. This means that there are so many different people who care about you and want you to know the truths of God's word. That's right. Every single one of our neighborhood churches has their own unique Treehouse Kids Worship Service. And you can be part of it. Check out your local neighborhood campus every single Sunday morning where you will get to experience live worship through music, teaching, and giving. You will get to see friends, memorize Bible verses, sing songs to Jesus and about Jesus, play games, and learn more about discovering and pursuing God's design for your lives. Parents, make sure to click the link in the bio to locate your nearest neighborhood church. We hope to see you real soon in person. But for now, enjoy watching the Treehouse Takeover. And remember, we love you. We love you. Que nosotros te amamos. We love you. But more importantly, God loves you more. God loves you more. God loves you more. Pero mucho más importante, Dios te ama más. Hey boys and girls, welcome to the Treehouse. Miss Wendy and I are so happy that you joined us today. You are so right, Pastor Ben. Today is exciting because we're starting a new series. It's called Winning Culture, and we're going to study through 1 Timothy together. You know, Miss Wendy, I can't wait to learn more. In order for us to have a winning culture in this world, we really need to learn habits of a healthy church culture here at Family Church. That's I can't wait to learn more from this series. That's true, Pastor Ben, and I'm ready. So why don't we get started right now? We can check out what's the point and hear our big idea for the points for today. I can't wait. Let's go. And welcome to What's the Point? Hey, Pepito. I love getting to host with you today, especially since we are starting a brand new series all about healthy habits for churches. Before we begin, do you have any habits, Pepito? Well, I do, but what? I'm not going to tell you. Oh, well, what is it, Pepito? You can tell me. Miss mm. I have a real bad habit of biting my fingernails. My mom tells me not to do it because it's bad for my teeth. And I can seem to break the habit. Oh, I see. I understand that, Pepito. And even though biting your fingernails isn't the best habit, this series is going to help us to focus on good habits that will help us be a healthy church, just the way God designed. We'll be learning from the book of 1 Timothy, and it's going to be great. Go ahead and start our series with our first big idea. Absolutely, Miss Dana. Today's big idea is sound teaching is committed to God's Word. What a great start. Now, Pepito, can you share the points that will help us learn more about this healthy habit? Point number one is sound teaching results in devotion of loving others. Great point. When we follow God's word and commit to obeying it, God changes our hearts and leads us to love all and serve all in ways that honor him. Now, Pepito, what's point number two? Point number two is results in devotion to God's design. God's design is that we have a relationship with him and sound teaching is like a map that helps us to live the life God designed for us. Knowing God's word keeps us close to him. So what's the question of the day? Ta-da! Question of the day is, sound teaching results in devotion to blank 
A. Sports B. School and C. Repentance That's an interesting question, Pepito. You seem to have a habit of asking interesting questions. Oh, you think you're so funny, don't you? With your puns and about habits? Well, I thought I was pretty punny. But the answer to the question is C, repentance. God's word shows us our sin, and it also shows us our need to turn from our sin and follow Jesus. That's the greatest news ever. Thanks for clearing up that. Now I need to get back to breaking my habit of biting my nails. Miss Dana, do you have any suggestions to help? Well, I mean, actually, yes, maybe. You know, you can take tape and you can put it around your fingers and that might help. Mm, I'm not doing that, but thanks for the advice. See you all later for What's the Point? Adios! Pastor Ben, I love today's big idea, don't you? I love it. That sound teaching is committed to God's word. You know, Miss Wendy, I can't wait to learn more. But before we do, do you remember what happened last week with all of our friends in the treehouse? Oh, I do. They found the perfect tree to build the treehouse in Fenton Beach, but it was infested with those nasty termites. You know, it was was pretty gross, Miss Wendy. Thankfully, Mr. Stephen thought to reach out to the president. And as always, the president really came came through for them and provided another tree in Fenton Beach. It's true. And I think we should go check in with our treehouse friends just to see how things are going today. I think that sounds like a great idea. Let's go. And I'm telling you, that's how I caught the biggest fly I've ever eaten in my whole life. Hermit. 
You have to tell stories with a point. That was the most boring story I've ever heard. No, 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 no. Are you kidding me? That, that was, was a great story. story. But the biggest fly I've ever caught. That was a really good story. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I ate it for lunch. It was delicious, and now I'm <laughs> stuffed. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah, uh, Miss Norton, I hear something, something Wait, buzzing. Something. you're right. Is that? What, what is that? Oh, I just missed a phone call. That always happens. Uh, what is it? Oh, guys, it's, it's from Mr. Steven. I've been wondering where he was. We have been waiting a long time. We've been listening to that fly story for a really long time. Really long time. Because we were time. waiting for him. But, okay, wait. Ooh, he left me a voicemail. Oh, you will allow me to listen to it, Mr. Steven. listen to it. Okay, yeah. all right. I'm going to put it. Let me play. Let me play. All right, it's on speaker. Can you hear it? Hey, Lauren. Um, now that we're building a new treehouse, I thought it would be a good idea to review all the things that make a treehouse a treehouse. That way, no one gets tricked or anything. I've heard that Joker Mac the Rack has, uh, has been seen recently. Um, I'm on my way to the Unknown Zone to do a training at the treehouse there. Can you do a training with Hermit and Tony? I left everything you need underneath the T-Rex puzzle. Oh, and if you guys go to the taco truck, I'll take three shrimp tacos, two fish tacos, and a meatball sub. All right, talk to you later. Bye. Ah, good stuff, man. Mr. Steven, I, awesome. I would never eat a meatball sub from the uh, from mm -hmm. a taco that's truck. That's yeah, that, that's beside the point, guys. He left it right here. The T Rex puzzle. It's a black binder. We're official. It's my favorite color. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited that we get to go over these really important things. And he left me this blue marker. It's Ooh, official. Nice. It does, it All right, guys. Nice. This is really, really, really good and important stuff. And it says right here, he left a note that he's trusting me to give y'all this amazing information that's incredibly important. So I feel very honored. All right, but are y'all ready to listen? Because it says right here, treehouse members must listen very carefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm We're ready to listen. Let's just get this on. Okay, perfect. So we are doing this. It says right here that I have to read this, all right? We are doing this because we are building more tree houses. And we think it's a good idea to go over what makes a tree house a tree house. Yep, yep, yep. yep. I would agree. Good. Yep, yep, That's yep. a good idea. So that way, no one's going to get tricked, all right? Because some people like to do tricky things, but we want to go over this so that we know what's true and what we believe, right? All right. So, good. So, here we go. Number one. All right. All right. My nice big number one. You ready? Yep. Number ready. one. We need to... Love all. Love, Love all. all. Yeah, that sounds Pretty exactly simple. what's on the pledge right over there. Hermit. It is on the pledge. Hermit sounds like you're you're a little upset. Why don't you just pay attention and, and listen? Yeah. Well, it's I good. knew that part. I would I would have you write all of this down, but y'all don't have hands, so <laughs> We're yeah. just, you just have to listen really carefully. I would right? listen very carefully. I already know that we love all, so what, what yeah. else do we have? Tell me something no, I don't that's know. That's right. It's always good to be reminded, though. We love all. All right. Herman, are you ready for number two? Oh, Tony, I'm ready. You ready? Is something new? I'm so ready. All right. Number two. Serve all. <laughs> Serve all. What, what's the sigh for? What well, I means knowing it's just the pledge. It's right there above Tony's head. We see it all the time. We talk about well, it yeah. all the time. We love all. Serve all. It yeah, is. It's right there. It's right there. But we always have to be reminded to love all. All serve all. What do you think, Tony? I think that's great information, and I think Hermit should pay attention. <laughs> uh, whoa, careful. Hold up. All right, y'all ready for number three? Yeah. Number three. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, what? We already know all this. It's just more from the pledge right there. I mean, this is getting ridiculous, Miss okay. Lauren. We already no, know all no, this. No, 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 no. It's <sighs> always good. Let me go back. Tell you why we're doing this, remember? Because we're building new tree houses, right? We want to continue to make sure that we are a great tree house. We always have to be reminded to love all and serve all and of our pledge and of everything. Well, that I know we that, Ms. Lauren, but we already know that we've heard it like a hundred okay, million times. It sounds like you're getting frustrated. I think that we just need to go take a break. Mm. All right, a snack break would be really good right now. I think you could probably use some flies. I'm, I'm and hungry. Some worms. I just had that big old fly. Didn't you hear my whole story? Hermit. Okay. You're being Tony, annoying. Let's just go. Give him some space. We'll go take a break. You take a break in here if you want to, and we'll be back. All right? And fine, then we'll, we'll resume. You yeah, ready? Enjoy your space, yeah. Hermit. Okay. Yeah, you Let's go. breather here. Mm. I'm just... I don't really know all this. If it's just a pledge. Mm. Oh! 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 Is that, is that the duck phone? I've never got the answer before. Let me go answer it. One, two, three. Let me get um, hello? <laughs> What's up, loser? Um, Mac the Rack? What, what are you doing calling the, uh, calling the treehouse here? It's just me, Hermity Frog, here. <laughs> well, 
I've had some spare time since breaking out of the breaking out of the slammer, so I've been up to planning some to to, to take over the. Uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Never mind. Um, but I couldn't help but uh, but overhear your boring meeting that Miss Lorne was leading. <laughs> um, um, yeah. I mean, it was it was kind of boring. We we're just talking about the pledge that we uh that we talk about all the time. So I, I know everything about it. <laughs> yeah, it sounds super boring. Love all and, and and serve all. What a what a what a loser idea that is. <laughs> I mean I mean I mean we do say it a lot, but I don't know if I call it a loser idea, but I mean <laughs> Boy, you have uh you have no idea you guys are always saying that, but but did you know there's actually uh a better way? <laughs> <laughs> Hey kids, I'm so excited about our new series, Winning Culture. We are learning the habits of a healthy church culture while we study through 1 Timothy together. So with this new series, I'm going to introduce to you the new memory verse with this series. I'll first share the memory verse with you, and then we are going to stand up together and repeat it two times with the motions. Here it is. 1 Timothy 4.12 let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believers an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. All right, kids, stand up and let's learn this memory verse together with the motions. 1 Timothy 4, 12. Let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believers an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. All right, kids, let's do this one more time together. You've got this. First Timothy 4, 12. Let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believers an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. You guys did a great job. Keep practicing that memory verse. See you next week.
<laughs> um, um, did you did you say there's a uh, a better way, Mac the Rack? Is that is that what you were trying to tell me? <laughs> That's right, chump. Love yourself and and serve yourself is the way to go. Loving all and serving all doesn't that get exhausting? You got to think about yourself some more. And um, I mean, I, I'm kind of tired of all the. Uh, of all the work we've been doing, uh, trying to get this fence and beach, uh, a treehouse, uh, built and stuff. <laughs> what did you say? A, a tense peach? What even is a tense peach treehouse? <laughs> you critters are always doing some crazy things, man. Loving all and serving all and intense peaches and stuff. <laughs> Look, try, try the better way, man. Um, but, 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 but what, what, what is that? What is the better way, uh, uh, Mr. Macdurak, sir? I don't, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's love yourself and serve yourself, you loser. Man, it is so nice. You get so much more stuff all for yourself. And you know what the best part is? Um, um, no, no what's, the, what's, the, uh, what's the best part? No meetings. Because <laughs> it's all about yourself. You don't have to go listen to nobody else. <laughs> Um, no, no meetings, huh? Like, Miss Lauren would not be doing this meeting today? Nope. Zilch. Zero meetings. <laughs> Come on, Tony, let's go. Um, oh, oh, hey, I, I, my, my friends are coming back. <laughs> Is that your loser friends coming back? <laughs> well, you better go, because I gotta go. <laughs> ah, see you later, loser. Oh, um, I, I guess I better get back over to the tree. I, uh, let me put it Hang up there and uh, I'm ready to go. Yeah, <sighs> I mean that was an interesting phone conversation I just had. Oh, hermit, hermit, were you just talking to someone? Uh, um, uh, well, um, I, 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 um, um, uh, I, I, I don't okay. know what you're talking about. What's the point? I'm, I'm trying to talk about the pledge. Why are we talking about the pledge all the that, time? You sound suspicious. <laughs> that is true, but you know what? We're talking about the pledge because it is very important. This mm, is something I just that don't we, get it. Have we know. To it. It's know. right there. Yes, it is right there. But you always need a reminder. Right, we need a reminder. We need to be reminded all the time of the pledge and of what we do here as a treehouse. Okay, mm. because listen to this, Tony, help me out here. Have you ever forgotten anything? Y- yes, I do. Actually, today I forgot my lunch. That's why we, <laughs> we just went out. Wait, we just you went out to your eat. Your lunch today, Tony? Oh my goodness, I can't yeah. believe hey, it. Hey, okay. hey, keep it to yourself. Hey, he forgets things. He forgot his lunch today. I did. How often do you eat lunch, though? I eat my juicy worms every single day for lunch. Yeah, every Tony, single day. You, you eat every day. <laughs> but he forgot his lunch today. Yeah, so? So he forgets something. He forgets something that he does all the time. You have to eat lunch every day, but he forgot it. You kind of picking up what we're putting down here? Um, no, not really, not at all. <sighs> well, as Stephen would say, this is not going very well. But, all right, let me just read what... I'll read off the manual and tell you what it says because I think this is just really important for you to get, okay? okay. This is what it says. It says, read this to Tony and Hermit. All right? All right. Ready? Pretty. Yep. Sometimes you hear something all the time. Yeah. Like love all and serve all. hmm But sometimes you still forget it. Sometimes oh. you just need to be reminded to love all and to serve all. Oh, well, that's a lot of sometimes, but I guess sometimes it does happen. Yeah. You can forget it, right, Tony? You can definitely, you can forget all sorts of things. Right, that's true. You know, you can also get confused. Yeah. Or maybe hear something that's kind of true, but kind of not. You mean like um, something like love yourself and serve yourself? Mm, There you go. Now, that's kind of crazy. That's yeah, kind of a crazy idea. I don't know who idea. would believe something like yeah, that. Yeah, that sounds terrible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. You all ready to keep going over the pledge? We have more. Yeah, let's, let's keep going through the pledge. That, that sounds like a great idea. You think so? Yep. Uh, I think so, too. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, you know, actually, you're kind of thirsty. What? And I think we it's important that we go over it, but I think that I really need to go get some water. And no, I have also, a great little pond. You can drink some out of the pond. Wait, we could go I to the pond. I drink your pond water. And, well, I'm not going to drink the pond water, but we could go to the pond and hang out at the beautiful day. Wow. It's really a good thing that Mr. Steven had Miss Lauren lead that very important mm-hmm. training to review what makes a treehouse a treehouse. Because Matt the Rack is up to no good again. Oh. You know, he can be pretty tricky. Oh, for sure. Tricky enough to convince Hermit that he didn't need to have the treehouse training to review important things like the treehouse pledge. 
Just because you're familiar with something doesn't mean we can't all benefit from reminders. You're so right, Miss Wendy. We all forget things sometimes, mm-hmm. so it's so important to have those reminders. And speaking of reminders, I can't wait to hear from Pastor George as he reminds us from the Bible in 1 Timothy how important it is to have a winning and healthy church culture. That sounds great, Miss Wendy. Let's go. Hey, everyone. I'm so glad that Mr. Stephen asked Miss Lauren to lead the training. It helped Tony and especially Hermit understand that they need to stay committed to the Treehouse Pledge. It's the pledge that allows them to know who they are, their mission, and what they stand for. We as followers of Jesus have the Bible. It teaches us the truth of who God is, who we are, His mission, and how we're to live for Jesus. The crazy thing is, is that there's some people who teach us things that don't line up with God's word. If we end up believing the lies they teach us, we can easily get confused. And then we don't know how to think or what to do when certain things happen in our lives. That is why it's so important to be a part of a church family that loves teaching the Bible. This brings me to our big idea for today. Sound teaching is committed to God's word. Today, we'll get to see how the Apostle Paul reminds a young Timothy the importance of the truth that comes only from the Bible. And we'll see that in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verses 12 through 16. Before we read the text, I want you to know that our new sermon series is called Winning Culture. It's going to be a study from the book of 1 Timothy, where Paul is writing to Timothy about the habits of a healthy church culture. That means that it's a good environment where you can learn and grow in what you know about God and how to live for Him. Paul was like a coach in helping him understand that knowing the Bible is critical to living a godly life. Let's pick up in verse 12 of chapter 4. Let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believers an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. Until I come, devote yourself to the public reading of Scripture, to exhortation, to teaching. Do not neglect the gift you have, which has been given you by prophecy when the council of the elders laid their hands on you. Practice these things. Immerse yourself in them so that all may see your progress. Keep a close watch on yourself and on the teaching. Persist in this, for by so doing, you will save both yourself and your hearers. Wow, how powerful and encouraging are the words that Paul gave Timothy when he told him, not to let anyone think less of you because you are young, but to be an example to all the believers in what you say, in the way you live, in your love, your faith, and your purity. That means that it doesn't matter how old you are, God wants to use you to make a difference in the lives of others. And the way that it happens is when you're devoted to the Word of God. It's your faith in God that leads us to love others the way that God first loved us. It's the Bible that points us to God's design for all areas of our lives, and most importantly, the gospel. It's the gospel that allows us to be made right with God when we repent of our sins. That means that we must have a change of mind and heart about our sins, and we turn away from them and turn to God. It's then that we can restore, make right our relationship with God. There will be times in your life where you may feel like there's a checklist of all the good things that you have to do in order to be a believer in Jesus. And you may even have people who try to teach you that you can only belong to God's family when you do a bunch of good things and keep all the rules. I want you to know that is a lie. And it's not what the Bible teaches. This is why it's so important to be committed to the teaching of God's word. It's all about what Jesus did and who he is that allows us through faith to be a part of his family. Let's pray. 
God in heaven, we thank you for the scriptures. We thank you for your word that is truth. God, thank you that through your word, we get to know you, who you are, who we are, and our need for Jesus, the Savior. God, I pray that as we read and study your word, that our understanding of who you are and what we think about you and your word will help shape the way that we live. We need you, God. We need your word. And it's in Jesus' name we pray, amen. You know what, Miss Wendy? It was so great to hear from Pastor mm-hmm. George that we need to make it a priority to be reminded of God's design for our lives. And the only way that we do that is consistently clinging to the teachings of the Bible. Nothing more and nothing less. You know, boys and girls, the Bible reminds us that we are all sinners who need to be saved and ready to receive God's gift of salvation through His Son, Jesus Christ. If so, then you must personally choose in your heart to repent and believe in the good news of the gospel, which means you're ready to put your trust in Jesus, who took the punishment of your sins through his death, burial, and resurrection. If you made that decision today, then we encourage you to talk with your parents, your kids' pastor or minister, so we can help you take that very important next step. Well, kids, it's been great being the church together. Let's go be the church out there. And don't forget, we love you. But more importantly, God God loves loves you more. more.